All right, uh, hello SEC West fans. Uh, getting late in the season, just got two games left. Um, I'm an LSU fan, I've got a whole lot to say, I guess. Um, Baron is supposed to be calling me. He's the old Miss fan. I don't know um, if he's going to make it or not. We'll give him some. Um, if not, we'll give give him some uh, uh, equal time tomorrow. So that'll be okay. Um, Arkansas is going to be playing Mississippi State this week. It's um, that ought to be an entertaining game, uh, I guess. Um, probably Arkansas is going to be able to pull away with it. I don't know. They're playing up in Little Rock. Um, well, they're playing in Little Rock, and they never le uh, lose in uh, Little Rock, except for I think one year LSU beat them uh, not too long ago. But anyway, um, then we got the premier game of the week: LSU versus Ole Miss. Yeah, Bama's playing uh, Chattanooga and Auburn's off, so I don't know what to say about Bama other than we're just waiting on them to play Florida. Um, LSU Ole Miss. Um, you know, as an LSU fan, I, I saw something last week that, that I never – I'm still trying to figure out what happened to us against Louisiana Tech. Um, if you're a believer in body language like I am, I, I've, never, I've never seen a quarterback – display the kind of body language that our quarterback displayed it was it was like he was always pulling at his his um shoulder pads and the could the coach would give him a call and he would um he would get the signal and he would just roll his eyes like so it, it looked to me like we had a guy playing quarterback in Jarrett Lee that I don't it really didn't look like he wanted to be there and you know that's odd um, of course, our Jordan Jefferson was out um, for that game. He's supposed to be back for this game. That's what that's the rumor. But you know, I don't know uh, if that's the case or not. It's just going to be something we're going to have to see uh, on game time. And but I can promise you, if, if Jerry Lee is starting this game for the Tigers, Ole Miss will win big. So I, you know, I, I don't know what's maybe, and it wasn't just a bad game. Um, it was just strange. Um, another thing that that concerned me about the game against Louisiana Tech was that our fans started booing. You know, they, you know, some, some of them been calling in the Buddy Sanji show and saying they were, they were booing the coaches, but they're 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 full of it. Yeah, they might have been booing the coaches, but they were booing that kid too. So, um, God. I hate to see that, but um, I, I tell you, I've been in every stadium in the SEC, and and I've heard booing in every single one of them when their team was losing. So I'm not justifying that for LSU fans, uh, but um, it goes on, and I just wish it wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened in Tiger Stadium. So as far as the Tigers are concerned, I, I don't know what you know stats are going to mean this week. Uh, both of these teams are pretty much middle of the pack. Uh, depends on what, you know, uh, LSU is leading the conference and, and, and fumbles lost, which means they've lost the fewest fumbles. Mississippi's ranked seventh in that category. Um, so, you know, it seems like when Mississippi loses, they lose because of turnovers. So I guess, you know, one of the keys to this game is, is if Mississippi is going to be able to hold the ball and, and let – Dexter McCluster run for 500 yards. Um, Louisiana Tech had um, – they were running some sort of version. I guess some people call it the Wildcat. Um, but they were running that, that offense in the second half. Uh, well, in the first half, they had like over 200 yards against us. And they were really making us look like fools. If we – you know, in the second half, the, the guys kind of settled down and uh, started stopping them. But if we bring that defense to Oxford, um, we're, we're going to have problems, big problems. You know, I said all year <clears throat> that I thought LSU would either beat Florida or Alabama. I, you know, I, I was sure about those games, winning one of them. But, you know, this Ole Miss game, when Ole Miss lost to South Carolina – um, I circled this on my calculator. I mean, my my cal calculator, my calendar, um, <clears throat> because 
this is Houston Nuts prime time. You know, he's fighting basically what we're we're fighting for in this game is for all intent and purposes third place in the SEC, which means at the end of the year you get to go to uh, the Capital One Bowl, which is, you know, it's have a lot better than going up to Dallas. Uh, if you're into beaches and all that stuff. Not to take anything away from the Cotton Bowl, but that, you know, He's lost some games. His players are calmed down. The offense is looks like it's clicking. Well, sure in the hell clicked against Tennessee. But, you know, Tennessee was place, uh, facing all that, those weird players getting arrested, problems, and all this stuff. So, you know, I think the key to this game is, is you know, first and foremost, Jefferson has to be healthy. If not, forget it. Um, second, our defense – has to find their head again and I don't know you know we're ranked fourth in the SEC in rush defense right now and um you know Mississippi's fifth so and you can go on down the list scoring defense LSU's third Ole Miss is fourth <sighs> scoring offense LSU is ninth Mississippi's fourth so that's a that's a big key if if you know, I've been waiting all year for our front four on defense to to play like I know they can. And, uh, you know, because most of them are seniors or, you know, juniors that's been playing a long time. But, you know, if it's this late in the season, you got to figure that that unit is just not, you know, what we as LSU fans are used to. And, you know, we're used to having an All-American on our defensive line every year. And things happen. So... You know, if the Tigers can wake up on defense and stop McCluster, and because uh, they're just going to do the same things Louisiana Tech did to us, run around the edges, misdirection, wildcat, and all that stuff, uh, you know, we might have a chance. But then again, our offense, you know, we have no offense. And, um, you know, we, we, we've got a staple of running backs. Well, uh, you know, Charles Scott's hurt now, so he's gone. Uh, he, we might have him back for the bowl game. But Keelan Williams was, was running lights out against uh, Louisiana Tech. Again, that's Louisiana Tech. Uh, one key stat that I looked at, that uh, tackles for loss. Did y'all know Ole Miss is ranked number one in the SEC with tackles for losses? Um, that, that's huge. Total of 72, Alabama second with 71. Now, LSU is ranked seventh. So tackles for losses in sacks, Mississippi is third. LSU is nine in sacks. So, and I wished uh, Barron was here with me so he could tell me if that was all Hardy or, or somebody else. So basically, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out which team we're going to look, we're going to see. Is it the team LSU played? Is the LSU team that uh, played Auburn? Or the LSU team that's played, I don't know, uh, Louisiana Tech or uh, Mississippi State or, or a lot of other games. And that's the same thing, you know, Arkansas fans have been saying the same thing every game. Same thing uh, Auburn fans have been saying all year and Ole Miss. So uh, my prediction in this game uh, is, is an ass whooping. Um, just like, you know, Ole Miss – whooped us last year pretty good uh you know i don't see any reason to believe that this year is going to be any different especially after you know listening to all the the players talking and um you know all they're worried about well we can win three more games and we can win two more games and go to a big bowl and all this stuff you know very you don't really hear them saying uh you know, I want to get over that butt whipping we took from them last year because all the teams that beat us last year, Ole Miss took us to the woodshed last year. So, in, in my opinion, um, I would rather pick what I think and be wrong. But um, you know, until they wake up, figure out what's going on. Uh, you know, I, I predict a, a long day for the Tigers and the Tiger Nation. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to cut this off now so I can put it on YouTube. They, they, they cut me off for 10 minutes. I've got see a bunch of people on here. If y'all want to chat or something, just uh, send me something. Until then, y'all take it easy.